Got a lot of lessons left to learn But I'm not even close Okay, I'm gonna call him while you're on the phone Through my okay. I've become quite sure Hey! Hi! I don't know if my water just broke or... What? I was laying in bed and then all of a sudden stuff started coming out so I got up to go pee and that was about 15 minutes ago and stuff's been consistently coming out since then. Yeah, her water is definitely breaking. And I am going to my house and I'm coming. Deadly. <laughs> Hi, I'm just calling because I think that my water may have just broke. Um, what happened? Um, so I was laying in bed and all of a sudden stuff started kind of trickling out. So I got up and then there was a little bit more and then I went to the bathroom um, and then for like 45 minutes now it's been trickling down every once in a while. But the best thing to do is to just put a pad on okay. um, and just come on in uh, to the hospital for assessment. It is 9.50 a.m. on June 8th, my birthday, and I woke up this morning to stuff trickling out. It was just a little bit and I was kind of like, uh-oh. And then I kind of just waited a little bit and then more came out. So I was like, oh crap. So I got up. Um, I called my mom and I was like, I think my water just broke, but I'm not positive. And then when I was on the phone with her, all of a sudden, as I was standing up, things just started coming out. And I just called my doctor. They told me that I should come in. So I am going to finish my hair and my makeup and wait for everyone to get here. And then we will head to the hospital. <sighs> so it looks like we're going to share a birthday today. Thanks, kid. The one day I did not want to have a baby. It is 11.18 right now. And I am taking my nails off because I have all those fake nails on here and they keep getting stuck in my hair. And that is not a problem that I need to be having today. Getting contractions. I'm also um, still losing a lot of fluid. And there has been some blood and some mucusy stuff now. And then I'm getting some contractions every once in a while. They're pretty close together, but they're not strong at all. So we're just gonna take these nails off. I got my hair all done and my makeup done because I'm not gonna have time to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow, today. One second. They've been really close together, but there's also some that have been really far apart. Um, after we're done this, I'm going to get everything in the car and then over. Um, one of the things though is that I have not received my strep B test back yet so they'll have to check that to make sure that I don't need to be put on antibiotics. Hopefully they won't keep me. I'm really hoping that I can get sent home. Alex is still at work. We told him that we would call him after we come back from the hospital or if they admit me. Mom's gonna go to the hospital, okay? He's so concerned. I wish I could take him with me. Okay, let's get the show on the freaking road. Yes, it is 12.30, so now it's four hours since the water broke. And we are now heading to the hospital. I feel like that's probably way too long, but I got a lot of stuff to do. Heading to the hospital now. I'm really hoping that we can leave the hospital after this, but we'll see. So I was checked and I am three centimeters dilated. So <laughs> happy birthday to me. <laughs> okay, so it is 4.06 right now. So they wanted me to stay and get the antibiotics because my strep B test hasn't come back yet. So I had to come and get admitted. I am getting the antibiotics right now and he said that by seven o'clock, which is four hours from when they first put it in, I would have to get induced if labor has not progressed yet. That's where we're at right now. We're still waiting for Alex to come. He's bringing me some nuggets. Because apparently I can eat until I get induced. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> Brought me a birthday present. Thinking about that, I was like, dang, I'm not even gonna get any of my birthday presents today. That's why. Now we will get the shot. Now it is 5.15. 
contractions are a lot more intense they're about two minutes apart but they only last like 30 seconds i mean it's nice that i get that release because as soon as it's done i'm like okay but they hurt let's say pain tolerance level at like three alex has his little green sticker that's what their covid Protocols are protocol are the <laughs> green sticker. Seems, seems safe. <laughs> oh, am I missing it? Oh, like what, right here? Lower a little bit. Oh. Is that the right spot? Yeah, don't push the hard hand. Tells me to push, and she says, don't push. That's bologna sauce. Oh, that was so much better. Oh. Again? Holy dynamo. Well, she's having a baby or something, right? You would think so. Oh, it's amazing like how much it changes from like interaction moment to like complete oh my to yeah. oh look at the sun came out. Oh god, that hurt. Breathe, Ray. Ow. She's starting to feel way more now. <laughs> Deep breath, honey. You have to breathe through it. Every two minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like her pain, she says, is of like a five now. It's 6.30 on the dot right now. So because I'm contracting two and a half minutes apart, she said that she may not have to induce me at seven. So she is going to come in and check me, see how far along I am. And hopefully she don't have to be induced because I really don't want to make this pain worse. Oh, <laughs> Alex, you're up. You're up. Hello. I did it in 10 Hello. hours. Hello. Ah. Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh. A little update. She is now in the shower, her and Alex. And she has been having contractions in there, but she's doing really good. Super proud mama. She's out of the tub and she's laying down. We're going to see how this goes. There's dad doing his job, doing really good. He's kicking the pillow. He's kicking the pillow. <laughs> All right, 8.30 on the dot. Someone's not feeling the pain. So we're getting an epidural. Five centimeters, five. Five to six, she said. Yeah, five to six is where we're at. And your cervix is very Pain very levels, very what? Thin. What's your pain level? Eight or nine? We have jumped. Mm -hmm. Last time I was like five. I'm too tall. Get me in the shot. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that you like get down there. Oh. oh, we're not feeling it. Come on, take the camera. Is this what you expected, Dad? No. No? No. She's a trooper, eh? Well, here we are. <laughs> it is uh, 9.21. I just got the epidural, and I feel like a brand new person. I would do this a hundred times over. <laughs> but that's so funny, because I felt like I was so tired before, and now I'm like, well, let's have a party now. For it's a birthday party. We have yeah. a birthday party. Birthday party. <laughs> they did say that if we do have him today, we have to stay for 72 hours because it'd be 36 weeks because he's 36 and six days. So if I have it tomorrow, which is literally at midnight, we only have to stay for like 24 hours, if that. So <laughs> the goal, not only because it's my birthday, is to have him after midnight. <laughs> 
near a pulse has gone down a whole lot. Do they look bigger? Oh, yes, yes, they do. That one that you just had was quite large. and the, the uh, delivery doctor just came in here and she was like hey it's past midnight so now you can have a baby <laughs> and I am officially nine centimeters they want the head to come down just a little bit more she said a few more contractions and he'll probably come down and then we'll start pushing give me back to the sleepless nights phone calls and Talking about what we'd be when we hard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're nine, taking me ten. back. You're taking me back. When the world was smaller and everything was ours, you're taking me back. You're taking me back. No, you're making me back. First babies take a while. This is normal. So what I'd like to do is to examine you when you have an next contraction and see where baby is at. Mm -hmm. It's really low. So a little bit of the swelling of its head, which is normal because it's trying to get out. You're just gonna be like the ring of fire means like and the end. Good job. <sighs> and again, push that baby there. Hold push, that baby push, there. Push, push, We're gonna push, push, move in and keep push, moving push. farther. Moving farther. Good. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Very good. Good. I think it's got to be moving more than before, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Let's do this, girl. All right. Okay. Show me Watch what she looks like. Hold it on your bump, just like we were doing, right? Just like we were doing. Good. Yeah. Right. Move, 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 move. move. Great. Right. Definitely move. way more ahead. Yeah. Oh, come on, kid. You look like you're doing such an amazing job with, I don't even know what energy at this point. Right? <laughs> Cause like I'm tired. <laughs> so I don't. And she get, went home and slept. I yeah. I slept. I went home and slept. Oh man, this pubic bone is rough. That's right? why this baby yeah. is in this position because you have a oh, pretty ow. pubic bone. Ah. There's lots of room in the back. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have a chat. Okay. So here's the deal. You have worked your tail off. Right now, I think it's time to say enough is enough. The choices are to pull the baby out with forceps or to do a C-section. Neither of them are straightforward right now. So when you've pushed for a long time, a C-section actually can be really difficult. And when the baby's OP, getting the baby out with forceps can be really difficult, okay? offer if I thought it was impossible. So if I was like, don't, it's not worth it, I wouldn't even give it as a choice. Mm -hmm. I think we could try and if it doesn't come easily, we stop. But if it comes, then we, but it's up to you. Okay. I think I'm ready for forceps. You want to give it a shot? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put the forceps on and then we're going to pull. And if that baby doesn't come easily, we're done. Okay, then we know we've done everything we possibly could. Okay, 
I would prefer not videotaping forceps. I thought we could oh my God. give you some change. A new it perspective to see. But it's so light. Life looked <gasps> in a different <gasps> way. But here in your arms, I can't leave now. Cause I don't I'm know. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Grayson Ray. Oh, that's right here in this moment.